Cleaning is an important part of making sure your Aqualab always gives you fast, accurate results. What's more, the new Series 4's clamshell design makes cleaning easier than ever. Today's video features a Series 4 TEV, but these instructions also apply to the Series 4 Duo and the Series 4 TE. Cleaning your Aqualab involves four basic steps. First, wash your hands. Second, clean block surface. Third, clean sensor surfaces. And four, check calibration. In order to clean your Aqualab, you'll need the materials listed here on the screen. Note that isopropyl alcohol may be used in place of cleaning solution in the following process. Isopropyl alcohol can be particularly useful when trying to remove greasy substances from the block surface. If you don't happen to have these materials, please just give us a call at the number you see listed here. Or, if you're outside the United States, please get in touch with your local distributor. Please also note that each order of verification standards also includes a free cleaning kit. Let's get started by washing our hands first. This ensures that oils that naturally occur on the hands do not interfere with the cleaning process. Once you've washed your hands, turn off the power to your Aqualab, and then open the lid to the sensor chamber. Take a moment to notice the different components of the sensor block depicted here in this diagram. We'll be cleaning the thermopile and the mirror. Please also note that unless you have the TEV version of the Aqualab, you won't see anything where the capacitance filter is depicted. Using a Kim wipe, remove any debris that may have collected in or around the sample chamber. Next, wrap a new Kim wipe around the end of the thin plastic rod from the cleaning kit and moisten it with Decagon cleaning solution. Kim wipes are used for cleaning the Aqualab because they don't contain any adhesives or other additives that can get left behind during the cleaning process. Using the Kim wipe and the rod, clean the upper chamber of your Aqualab, the O-ring, and all surfaces of the block. Please take special care not to bend or break any of the fan blades, marked here with a yellow circle. Please also clean the lower half of the sensor block in and around where the sample cup sits. Next, discard the old Kim wipe strip and attach a new one to the plastic rod. This time, however, dampen the Kim wipe using distilled water instead of the Decagon cleaning solution. Distilled water rinses away any residual contamination that may be left on the sensor block. Using the Kim wipe with distilled water, repeat the cleaning performed in the first step, again making sure not to damage the fan blades. The last step of cleaning the sensor block surface is to go over all surfaces using a dry Kim wipe. This time, apply no solution to the Kim wipe but go over the surfaces that you have washed to make sure that any residual moisture is removed. In the next step, we use the same technique to clean the surfaces of the sensors within the sensor block. First, take a clean Kim wipe, apply a cleaning solution, and clean the thermopile, the mirror, and the optical sensor. As we did before, take a clean Kim wipe, apply distilled water, and rinse the surfaces of the thermopile, the mirror, and then the optical sensor. Lastly, take another clean Kim wipe, apply no solution, and dry the surface of the thermopile, the mirror, and the optical sensor to make sure there's no residual moisture. After the cleaning process, it's important to verify that your instrument is operating properly. First, power your Aqualab back on. Then take one vial of verification standards and put it in a sample cup. Place the sample cup inside the instrument and close the lid. Yep, exactly. Using your Aqualabs menu, select Calibration and then Start. Turn the lever to read 
and the verification process will begin. After your final reading is displayed, make any necessary adjustments using the up or down keys below the Aqualab display. Please note that if your water activity value is within 003 of the standard, no adjustments are necessary. Simply hit the X button and return to the measurement screen and begin making water activity readings on your product. If you have any questions about cleaning your Aqualab or about water activity applications, please contact us at the number you see on your screen or go to decagon.com. If you happen to be an Aqualab user outside the U.S., please contact your local distributor.